التدريب السابع عشر which is a seventeenth lesson which is الحوار you know حوار means conversation the first part مشتاق is a name it also means اشتاق يشتاق okay اشتاق is to desire مشتاق is something is desired but anyway here it is meant as a name مشتاق he said السلام عليكم and الموظف means employee he says وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته هل ظهرت نتيجة امتحاني المستوى المتقدم you know all of these things we've done before nothing new here هل ظهرت نتيجة الامتحان Okay, Vahar, you know, it did the uh, exam result appeared. So he's asking if the result of the exam of the advanced level appeared or not. Muadhaf says, Naam, Vaharati al yoma sabahan. Yes, it appeared today in the morning. Okay. Even the verb is Vahara, uh, we have a uh, Taut sukun here because it's feminine. It's the same verb, but we have a kasra here. This is still with the sukun, but we have a kasra here because of alif lam. Now, Mushtaq says, Ana talibun fi al mustawa al mutaqaddim. I'm a student in the advanced level. But we need to an arifa natijati. I want to know, you remember this, whenever we have an, it will make the present tense verb into Mansu. I want to know my results, natijati, my results. Now, Mu'adhaf says, marhaban. Marhaban, you know, this this is an expression. It, it's used in many different situations. Here he says, I want to know. He says, Marhaban, that means, okay, that's fine. Welcome. You know, it has this meaning. The result is something that is hanging. So he's saying the result is hanging. Filaw filaw hati alanat in the bulletin board. So Mushtaq he says, "Kam adadun najihin." Najihin is the one who passed. How many people passed? If you translate word for word, it means, "What is the number of people who passed?" Okay, is there any good one word English for people who passed? I don't know. Success. Okay, so uh, it says, uh, what, are, what are the number of uh, people who pass? Now, don't forget uh, the rules for come. The default is it comes as mansub. You said, come qalaman, come kitaban, mansub. But here we have dhamma uh, here because this is a different style. We're not asking about. How many books? We're saying how many number of something. In English, you can say how many books did you read? And you can say what is the number of books that you read? Okay, so this is a different style. In this style, you, when you say adat like this, it gets a dhamma. Okay, so he says a khamsatun wa ishroon. We also have done these numbers. Uh, what is khamsatun wa ishroon? 25. This is, you know, these numbers are very similar to English. We say 10 digit number and then we say the single digit like 32, 37. So there are seven is separate word, 30 is a separate word. Same thing, khamsa is a separate word, ashroon is a separate word. So this is five and this is your 20. You have a 25. Right, so now, uh, -huh. Then uh, he says, Mushtaq, uh, he, uh, he says, Rasaba sab'atu tullabin. Rasaba is the opposite of najaha. najaha. So this is opposite. 
So that means failed. Rasaba means to fail. So he's saying seven students failed. Again, remember these rules from number three to ten. Uh, the more them says la rasaba arba tun faqat. Uh, only four uh, faqat is only only four failed wasthalathatu mutakhallifuna fi madda and the three they are mutakhallif mutakhallif when i think i explained to you this is uh, this word has a different meanings based on the context basic meaning is something to to be delayed or to be held back, underdeveloped. But when they mean in this context, it means that um, they, yeah, you can say they're held back, but not because they failed the entire semester. It's because they failed one or two classes. Uh, then Mushtaq says, uh, Shukran, atamanna an akuna min al mumtazin. Thanks, Atamanna. This is also a good verb. We had it before. I hope uh, Akuna, because of Anhev Akuna, I hope to become, okay, Miral Mumtazin from the uh, excellence, like uh, from the students who will be, you know, did excellent. Mumtaz is excellent. You remember the verb Kana? Kana. Yakunu. Uh, this is your standard English verb to be, like is, was, will, right? So kana is of course was. And yakunu is both is and will. Okay, but in standard we don't use is, uh, but we will be using this verb for the future tense. So he is saying, Akunu, I will. Okay. Sometimes you can use for is also. This is only comes when you're really emphasizing something. And normally in, in Arabic, we don't say is. The boy is small. We don't say, Al Waladu, Yakunu, uh, Savir. You know, if you say Savir at that time, actually, you have to say Saviran. Anyway. Uh, then it says, uh, Mushtaq, he says, Ahlan, ya. So I think this is the second part, okay? This is the second part of the uh, Hibar. So Mushtaq, he says, Ahlan, ya Kamal. Welcome, Kamal. Then it says, Hal arafta. So Mushtaq is asking Kamal, Hal arafta natijat al imtihan. Uh, did you know the result of the exam? Kamal says, Naam. Najahtu walhamdulillah. So this is the verb from uh, najaha, yanjahu, and then najah comes from there to succeed something, to pass something. Here in context is pass. So I passed. And Mushtaq says, Ana aidon, alhamdulillah. I am also, uh, meaning he also passed. Walakin ma takdiratuka fil mawad. This what is taqdeer means here it simply means there is uh, the grade you can think about the grade this type of uh, nouns even though they don't have talmarbota but the way you make it into fa uh, plural is at alif and like a sound family okay taqdeer taqdeerat yeah so this would be grade you can think about grades or the mark Know the marks that you get in in the classes. So this is a plural. Fil mawad. Mawad is a plural of madda subjects. We talked about them before. Uh, Kamal says, "Tadirati uh, my grades or marks here. They are, you know, here. I see. You can I say she here or it? You have to go with uh, what it's referring to." It's referring to grades so in English. We have to say they are. Uh, then it lists all the subjects: Tafsir, Tafsir al-Quran al-Karim, wa nahu wa sarf, 
Mumtaz. So he got excellent in morphology, grammar, and uh, tafsir of the Quran. And Hattarikhu al Islami wal Balagha wa Naqt Jayid Jiddan. So he got very good in Islamic Tarikh, is a history. Islamic history. Uh, remember Islam and Islami, this Ya, Ya and Nisba, which I think we talked about this. It's, it makes it into the noun, into an adjective. So instead of saying Islam, it's Islamic. So Islamic uh, history. Balaga, you know, this is one of the signs of the Arabic language. Eloquence or rhetoric. And Naqt, Naqt is criticism. Is a Jayid Jiddan. You know, it's very good. You can think Mumtaz is somewhere in A plus. Jayid Jiddan will be B, B plus somewhere there. Then he says, Wal Adabu, Wal Nusus, the literature and the text, he got Jayid good, which would be somewhere like B. Uh, Mushtaq says, Taqdeeruka Murtafa'un Ya Kamal. So he's saying your, uh, I don't know why he decided to say in singular here, but anyway, uh, he said your, your mark, your mark uh, is high. Murtafa'a, we did, we had this word before, Murtafa'a, from Irtafa'a, Yartafa'u, something to go up. Kayfa dhakarta? How did you uh, study? Dhakara is to study. He says, Kamal says, Dhakartu kathira. I studied a lot. Wa raja'tu al mawadda maratain. And I reviewed going back and forward. That's what uh, raja'a means. Al mawadda subjects maratain. Two times. Marra. Is singular times, maratain is two times. Mushak says, Ala kulli talibin an yudhakir al mawadda. This ala, ala, uh, as you know, it is preposition, harful jar. It means on, about. It comes as in the meaning of lazim or wajib. So, ala kulli talibin, it's upon. Every student, I explain to you with kulli, when do you say every and when do you say each? Here it would be each. Because after kulli, if it become if you have a plural, then it would be all. So if you say ala kulli tulabin, then it would be upon every student. But when you say ala kulli talibin, then it would be upon each student. Ayudakir al Mawad. Ayudakira al Mawadda. Al Mawadda is, of course, Mahful Bihi of uh, this verb. So it is upon each student that they study the subjects. And they review it, Kathiran, a lot. Kamal says, Naam, fa inna Allah la yudiru. Ajra man ahsana amala. We had this phrase before. Uh, uh, fa inna, this fa is, you know, is a connecting fa. So fa inna, what haraka goes here? Huh? Fatha. Yes, this is ismu inna mansub. Okay, it is the uh, part of the inna. Inna, inna Allah. Inna Allah la yudhi'u ajra man ahsana amala. Allah does not waste, make go make something into waste. The reward of someone who does perfection, basically. Uh, then it says, Wa hal tanwi al iltihaqa bil jamia. Now, yanwi, we had this one before. The word niya comes from it. And now I young way is to intend. Do you intend to iltihaq? What is iltihaq? We had this word so many times. Iltihaq, iltihaq, iltihaq. This verb always takes harful jar b. It means to join. Do you intend to join 
bil jamia uh, in the university kamon says naam inshallah mushtaq says fi ayy kulliya in kulliya is a college faculty we had it also before in what college kamal says fi kulliya til lughati al arabiya in the faculty of yes faculty now in the faculty of arabic language Mushtaq says, لماذا هذه الكلية دون غير دون غيرها? Okay. لماذا? Why this faculty without the others? دون is uh, without or or instead of. So he said, لأني. You can say أني. Or you can say أنني. Both of them is fine. Basically means inna plus ana. Naam? Because I uhibbu, I love or I like, ahabba, yuhibbu, uh, it has both of these meanings, to love or to like. An amala again, an, an, and you have a uh, uh, mansub. I like to work muallimun as a teacher lil lughat al arabiya for arabic language fi biladi in my country question is what is muallimun for example is there a file maful bihi what is what is muallimun it cannot be maful bihi that's uh, what I was going at. it cannot be maful bihi uh, because even in English, we cannot use a direct object when you say I work. Can you say I'm working teacher? You know, you cannot directly say teacher. You have to say as teacher, as a teacher. So so it's not a muffled bihi, not in English, not in Arabic. So somebody said hal, uh, it might work as a hal uh, in the future tense. It also can work as the means something that you clarify anytime you say hal and all the means would be manzu for example you say ana akbaru minhu i am bigger than him okay bigger than him in what sense then you say sinnan meaning in age that is a the means a uh, little bit advanced stops I think I mentioned this one because uh, the reason, only reason I'm uh, asking because uh, you might think it's muffled bihi. It is not a object. Then he says, Wafaqaka Allah. Wafaqa. Who can tell me it's masdar, verbal noun? What is the verbal noun of wafaqa? Tawfiq. Repeat tawfiq. So what does wafaqa mean? It's uh, to succeed, you know, to be successful. When you say Allahu, to me Allah grant you success. And then Kamal says, Wa anta aidan, and you too. And then we are done with the uh, with the hero. For the next tadrib, at tadrib thamin ashar, eighteenth lesson, it's fahmul masmu. And I told you I don't have the material, so we usually we skip and we just go through them. See if there's any interesting sentence or word. What is Mundu? Mundu Uzbu'in. Could you explain the Kul concept? Yes, so the Kul. Uh, what is Kulun mean? What does it mean by itself? Like whole thing, right? Kul it means it can mean whole, all good. But when it comes to the Mudaf, then of course you don't have tanwin. Then it can mean either one or the two, or one or two things. It can mean uh, every, or it can mean each. Okay. So if the word after that every has to be plural, plural, and for each has to be singular. So for example, you say kullu Allah bin, or you can say kullu. Talibin. So if it's a kul talibin, it's a singular, so it will be you will translate it as each. So each student. 
Uh, but if it's plural, then you will say every student. Anton? Makes sense. Then, so what is mundu? We had this word mundu. Uh, we had two different meanings. Mundu can be since or it can be ago. Yes, it, it, good. As it could be since, it can also be ago. Which one, you know, it honestly doesn't matter. You can say, for example, if you translate here, mundu usbu'in, you can say it does matter, but uh, you know which whichever makes sense, you will translate like that. So you can say one week ago, or you can say since a week. You understand? So both of these meaning you can get from Mundu. Now, what is auda? Auda is the uh, master of ada yaudu, which is means to return. And then we have. Uh, Okay, question for you guys. What is this word? What's going on here? Hmm? I mean, we know Rasaba. We know Najaha. Uh, but what's with this Alif? Is it Mansub? It's like Najahan, Rasaban, but it looks like it's, it's a verb. Dual Ahsant. Don't forget your verb conjugation, guys. Um, I, I think in that lesson, I warned you so many times that in for some reason, in Arabic grammar books, even in soft books, you will not find these uh, it's not conjugations. They don't teach you like Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat, Zahabta, uh, Zahabata, Zahabna, and all. They will not teach you these things. They will not teach you the whole conjugations. They expect that the kids, the Arabs, when they learn, they learn this thing in the kindergarten, uh, in the primary schools, not kindergarten, in the primary schools, or they learn somehow. And then later, they just talk about more advanced things. Only way this is uh, only way you will find this thing in uh, uh, very beginner books. Okay, please make sure uh, you know you memorize if you. If you can at least have one page which has all these conjugations printed out and keep it handy. And as you know, it gets trickier with weak verbs. Now, what is sofa? What is sofa, Yaturuku? For far future, yes, good. So you have a scene and sofa. They they both are the same. You can say uh, sofa yat ruku, or you can say sa yat ruku. Both of them means the same. Particle of the future, and then a scene is near future, and sofa is a far future. Good. Um, and then what is? Why do we have a fata here? Hmm. The answer is extremely tricky. Let me not uh, screw with your minds here. This is a mistake because you have harful jar. Why this is incorrect? This haraka noun. Yes, it's a noun, and it is a harful jar, so it needs to be a kasra. Li zamilihi. It's completely different. Even here, you cannot have a dhamma. You have to have a kasra. Now. Uh, I don't see anything else here. Mm, no, these are easy stuffs. What is istimara? Istimara is a uh, is a form. You know, form in a sense. You know, when you go somewhere, they ask you to fill up some forms. Okay. A uh, suar is the plural for a sura, picture. When you say a uh, suar or sura, shaksiya, it means a uh, personal photo. You know, personal pictures that somebody takes. And عندما, we talked about عندما, it means when, at the time, now. I think we're done.